So what is a P-E ratio? Well, it's a price to earnings ratio, and it's perhaps one of the most watched and also most misunderstood metrics out there for investors. It's calculated by taking the stock's current share price and dividing that by the earnings per share. Now it tells you essentially what you're paying for each dollar of earnings. Now remember, because it's based on the trailing earnings of the last 12 months, you know, you have, to, you have to be very careful when just looking strictly at the price to earnings ratio. It's why companies that are growing very quickly will typically have very high price to earnings ratios because their earnings over the last 12 months, in theory, will be much smaller than their earnings over the next 12 months. Whereas when you look at a more mature company, their price to earnings ratio will typically be a bit lower because their earnings may not grow as much from one 12 month period to another 12 month period. For example, the average uh, market price to earnings ratio for the S&P 500 or the Dow Jones Industrials average tends to hover around 15. That's considered a very fair average valuation. Now within that range, some companies like Caterpillar will have a very low price to earnings ratio at about 9.8. Others, big high growth companies like Zillow and LinkedIn will have very high price to earnings ratio, sometimes north of 300 or even 1,000 in the case of LinkedIn. And that's because these companies are growing very rapidly and they're expected to effectively fill out that earnings. So if you uh, track out for the next few years, their earnings are expected to be dramatically higher. So the price you pay today is incorporating a lot of that expected growth. Now it's important to remember that this is a very easily manipulated metric and it's more of a springboard for, for a company's valuation. It's not the holy grail since it's based on earnings, which we know can be very misleading. So whenever you look at a company's price to earnings ratio, make sure you put it in the context of that company's expected growth rates, their historic growth rates, and the quality of the earnings that are being reported. Thanks for watching and make sure you head over to our Invest Better Days website for more investing definitions and advice to help you become a better investor.